Yo guys, I'm HP. This is Dr. Pink and today I'm going to talk about my very, very favorite motivation song, Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. I'm going to show you how it's played and I'm going to analyze the composition to show you how you create really great composition with really simple things and developing to the next level. Bebabo. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button and also join the HP Crazy Guitar Committee to the support the work which me and Dr. Pink are doing for you guys. The audio file I'm using here is an audio export uh, of the Guitar Pro version. Um, if you want to have that one to practice on but you don't really need it. I'm going to show you how the whole, if you don't know the song, I quickly play for you guys. I have a metronome. And so on, I'm going to show you the different parts, and they're not really simple. And first of all, the story behind this tune is um, this is the theme song of uh, the, mo the movie Rocky III, Eye of the Tiger. And Sylvester Stallone contacted the guys from Survivor. They were friends of his brother, which was a composer. And he wanted a song which represents a really hard boxing fight. And so these guys said together, I watched the documentations, I'm telling you that thing. How these guys created this song. They wanted to represent a boxing fight with this tune. So that we have different parts which represent that. The first of all, this one here. You know, this is this like uh, the, the running thing. When you do boxing, you have to do a uh, train a lot. And you have to run a lot. You really have to keep it on a high cut end. So, <laughs> or it's all the tension building up before a fight, you know. And that's, I mean, the thing is really simple, but that's how composing works. You know, you have a simple thing here. <laughs> And just keep it going. And by the way, it's not so easy to play. I mean, if you really want to get the vibe of this song, the it's 130 B 13 BPM here on the third fret on the A string. And just play proper, straight, really precise 60 notes. And really keep it going. So that's the first thing which starts. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, that was the first part, introducing the whole thing. Now let's get to the closer to show the next parts. If you want to have this um, this first part really precise, what I do with the picking hand, I'm going to position and move it here with the fingers. So it's palm muted. If you do it with the arm, it won't work. It really has to be. What also works if you add a slight delay. As you can hear, I have a slight delay here, which doubles up what you're doing to create this, you know, this training effect. And by the way, the key of C minor <laughs> is used very often and is very used often in popular tunes, you know, like It's My Life. Or we have a Swiss band which has a, a tune in C minor anytime, anywhere. <laughs> and it's all, you know, C minor is kind of a a really great key to get into this into this mainstream rock thingy and I think it was chosen on purpose because C minor is really cool a cool <coughs> uh, key to do uh, really this motivation and wide rock songs so now that was the first part then comes the part which represents the boxing the hits it's let me quickly go the part where this comes here. <laughs> uh, 
okay? So, these were the punches, now you're back, 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 you know? <coughs> and now, here it comes, we have Sim. Then the release. Then it's played a second time, now here comes the trick. I mean, the, the rhythm motif is really simple. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. It's really simple. One, two, three, and three, four, two, and three. Very simple. When you play the second time, there's a slight variation. Did you notice? One, two. This one doesn't come on one, it comes on one end. So one, two, and three end. One, two, three, one, two, three. It comes slightly later. And this way, it's like in a boxing fight, you, you just come with the second hit a bit later, a little bit delayed to create um, this qu quad, this, this type of thing. You're playing the same thing, but a slight variation. That, that what makes great songs, you know? You just keep one simple motif and then do slight variations which is hardly noticed, but um, it creates that it sounds different. Okay, now comes the, sec the third part. Now the song starts. Now we're do doing the same thing again. But now we want to open up the song. And now we're adding the chords. So this is C minor to B. So we have... Here we go to C minor here in the 8th fret. B here, 6, 7, 8. This completely opens up the song. I'll show you. Now it opens up. Now it starts again with the intro. Let's keep this going. On. Then it goes into the, the verse, and we want to have a, a variation on this motif here. And that will be this here. Slightly different, but not the same. And again, this changes the vibe of the entire tune. the first again. carries the whole thing through the verse, okay? And then comes the refrain. Um, now, there's a classic refrain. We go to F5, then the E flat 5, B flat 5, F5 to C5 to B flat 5. Uh, let me go to that part. I think it's somewhere here. Here comes the right frame. One, two. And 
then the end phrase it's like the victory in the fight here three two and then it starts all over again goes back to yo that's the whole thing and then the whole thing is shuffled a little bit up but these are the main parts and each of them is simple but the combination of this and the slight variations make a really simple song great together with the theme which it has to represent as I said a boxing fight also being in the key of C minor and that is really what makes this song um, probably the best motivation song ever <laughs> for what reason ever I think it was also the key the key um, really makes a big thing if uh, if uh, a song is successful or not you know and uh, a lot of cool songs also uh, CZ Top songs uh, Sharp Dressed Man like as an example is also in C minor and I think uh, Game you or Your Loving is also C minor um, you know C minor is really a cool thing yo and uh, telling a story with what you're doing and from the playing thing it really has to be precise and it's quite challenging to have the these parts in between from these two uh, everything has to be extremely precise to get the vibe of this song all right i'm gonna play the whole thing now um at the end till the first the first break um i will write down the main parts of the tune um as tabs for me, that will be enough to learn a song because the rest you can fix it. But the original tabs are available in a Guitar Pro thing. Just check it out. It's all written down. But it's uh, a bit complicated <laughs> for me, at least for me, to learn the whole thing like this. It's just the main parts and you need to know when comes which part. And these are the parts. Yo. That's all me and Dr. Pinker saying to say it for today. If you love this tutorial, this uh, I'm trying out a new concept here. Tell me about uh, if you like this, you know, not just showing uh, showing how a tune is played, also explaining what is happening, what is the intention or the possible intention, and how you can create the really great thing and to also get your own ideas, you know. Because when you go through compositions, um, they all have a... A, a certain idea I idea what they want to express and which tools they're using and this is a good example how a really simple song with slight variations gets a great song if you just pick these parts they're so simple you think that's nothing but the combination together with the story which is told that's what makes the whole thing yo that's all me and Dr. Pinker are having to say. You're going to play the part now at the end for you guys. Till the first thing. See you guys. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> 